Will. Pastor Ray. Thank you, there, Bobby Barton. Now, uh, yeah, we'll we'll go through this real quick. Thank you once again for, for coming. I think I met most of you. I don't know if I met you, but I'm Corey, by the way. Okay. Pastor Payne is what they call me. I look like a pastor. Uh, you do. Amen. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm intimidated. <laughs> don't be, don't be. But uh, we're glad you're here. And of course, uh, we want to go through this presentation. And, and again, I'm here to share some of the excitement that for us that's on. Um, radio in the afternoon, in the morning, all day long, pretty much, uh, for the Sports Talk 5, 6, and the team. I want you to hear that excitement about what I'm going to share, but I want you also to hear what the callers have been saying about our new move to the big stick. I'm Wayne out in Caper, and I hear you clearly. It's, it's wonderful, your new station. We're absolutely loving it, man. I love it, too, man. I can listen to it. It's great. I listen to all the talk shows. It's the only station I ever listen to. Congratulations on going statewide there, fellas. Thank you, my friend. The voice of Gamecock basketball is now statewide in the capital. I have felt that this has been long overdue. Bulldogs. Is that a, uh, a Georgia Bulldog by chance? Of course. I want to say I'm glad y'all on 560. I'm in, uh, on the other side of Greenwood, South Carolina. And I hear you loud and clear. Cool. Captain, I got a tweet from SCTV Man. Mm -hmm. it says he's hearing y'all in Charleston now on Radio Good Signal. So welcome into the locker room. Welcome, Chuck Town. You know, Corey, it, it is so wonderful to be out in Gilbert, South Carolina. Here you guys in the afternoon. I live in Elgin. I can hear y'all all the way out there just clear as a bell. I enjoyed your concert jokes this morning. I really turn on 560 for Glenn Beck at 9 o'clock. Truly, I did enjoy this morning listening to you. Kevin from Clearwater, Florida. Hey, what's up, buddy? How are you doing? Our signal is really strong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, signal was steroids. The biggest sports signal in the Palmetto State. Sports Radio 560, the team. I mean, that's awesome. And that's, that's uh, you hear the people share their, their uh, uh, excitement about what we're doing here at 560. Of course, we are excited as well. Uh, you want to know why the move? to 5-6. Well, you just heard it. Listeners said Columbia's best sports talk station deserve a bigger signal. Well, we responded. We've been hearing those types of phone calls for a long time. You know, I live out in Pilly and I live in Gilbert and I want to listen to your programs and your show. I just can't hear you. You know, uh, and so we've heard that voice and we have responded. What about WVLC? We heard the ladies say, hey, I tuned in to listen to back and, you know, but I enjoyed those Clemson jokes and that was pretty funny. I wish we could play some of those. That was pretty good. Well, 560, normally uh, WVLC was there, but now they're on 100.1 FM, which left this AM frequency available for us. This happened January the 3rd of this year, okay? Uh, after we got back, I went down to cover the, the uh, Capital One Bowl, big Gamecock victory. How many Gamecock fans are here, by the way? How many Clemson fans? I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Just <laughs> Well, we love both, no doubt about it. But that happened January the 3rd, 2012, and uh, we made the big switch to the big stick. What else will change? Well, same great talent lineup, same sugar-free, caller-driven sports discussion, same non-affiliated and opinionated dialogue. What we believe over here that hey, we're not tied, we're not hamstrung, we can speak what we feel as truth. We talk about South Carolina, we talk about Clemson, we cover both those teams, and we bring it hard. And I like to say we go hard, we bring it the way we feel it. Some people like it, some people don't. But that's the power of sports talk radio. It's all opinion, right? And I think people enjoy that sugar-free, caller-driven sports discussion. Some stations, well, you know, they don't have the ability to do what we do. But that's what we have over here. Anything else? Well, the team was Columbia's first full-time sports talk station since 1996. It's a long time ago. And now it's the most powerful signal for sports in South Carolina too. We are the big dogs in the state now. As you can see here uh, on this map, you probably can see it better. This is what we used to be, this little green circle right here. And people are calling. Now, I want to listen. This stuff is contagious. This stuff is good. We want more of it, but when we get so far out, we, we lose your station. Well, this is what we were fighting against in the beginning. This is our competitor across the street over here in the orange, sorry, Clemson fans. And what we did was basically did what the Gamecocks has done to the Clemson Tigers the last three years is just dominate. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
<laughs> we're now the big boys in the state of South Carolina, covering about 80% of the state. And, and we were joking earlier, I had a call, I told about called me from Greeleyville. I had no idea where Greeleyville is. He said, man, I'm in Greeleyville, and I'm picking you up loud and clear. And I said, I never heard of it. Well, she just told me where that was, because she knows what that is. But anyway, <laughs> so yesterday, I got a guy from Bishopville called him. Man, I got you loud and clear. Every day we're doing our show, we're getting calls from all people saying, man, you're coming in loud and clear. And that's all about the vision. That's all about what we saw coming a long time ago. Well, I talked about the lineup, the best in the business here in this state. <clears throat> in the morning, Teddy Hefner, he is a grandfather, the godfather, been in business for a long time, used to be in print. Now he's doing a radio show. He's joined by Rick Sanford. Rick was an All-American at South Carolina. Many of you know he's a chiropractor as well in town, played for the New England Patriots. He now teams up with Teddy, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., four hours. We get you crunk in the morning. Get up, got your coffee, on the way to work, we bring it in hard right out the gate. Right now, what's going on in the locker room, the captain, Kerry Rich, another Gamecock, two-time captain for the basketball team. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a basketball team right now, but we're working on it. <laughs> But Clemson does. Huh? Clemson does. But Clemson, well, they struggled too, but they did beat Florida State. Good job. <laughs> Eric Demarets, he's uh, he covers recruiting. He's done radio before, been around a long time. These guys are fun. I call them Tom and Jerry. Uh, really fun guys. Midday show, do a great job. 10 a.m. until 1. Sports Talk First Edition 1 to 3. You got Kevin McCrary, Bill Garner, BigSquare.com. He's also basketball. A uh, recruiter guy, goes out and great basketball players. Bill Cornblue, guy been around forever. Awards, he's good. He's the best. I think he's the best in, in town, in Columbia, in the <laughs> state. He does from high school recruiting to just off the state paper. You'll see him every Monday with his recruiting breakdown. He's been doing this thing a long time. And he's from some little town called Latta, which he seems to think they got a high school <laughs> program down there, whatever. But anyway. <laughs> But then we're here to bring you home the Corey Miller Show. Uh, myself, I have co-host, the waterboard, Timmy Tim. He's a comedian, uh, fun guy, uh, the Yahoo. He's a Clemson guy, also a Southern Methodist preacher, Salem United Methodist Church, good guy, insider for the uh, Clemson Tigers. He comes in, Jonathan Reynolds, a guy that's been in radio, joins me as well. He comes in three days a week, plus a lot of other numerous guests, uh, phone guests, uh, that we have on today. I got Britson Buckner. See, I got, I love Clemson. See, Buckner's <laughs> coming on today. Uh, so he'll be a guest on with me today. We have that on tape. You know? <laughs> yeah. Are you recording? <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, yeah. Watch out for you too. <laughs> but uh, that's what Sports Talk is all about, guys. It's about having guys that have an opinion that's different. A lot of sports talk around us, you listen to their programs, and they sound alike. You know, if you close your eyes and just listen, they sound identical. Well, you don't have that here because everybody got their own flavor. Everybody. And uh, we love what we do. If you can't tell by my passion here this morning. What we got next here? Thank you, Bob. Oh, sorry. Are you sleeping? No, I'm, no, I'm just I'm not, I sleep? can't get over your Clemson <laughs> <laughs> Hey, well, three former USC Gamecocks, myself, Rick Sanford, Karen Rich, two NFL players. I played nine years in the National Football League, eight with the Giants. One with the Minnesota Vikings. Rick played, I just told you, with the uh, New England Patriots and winning sports journalists and countless other players and coaches that compromise our daily primetime lineup. There's really no other game in town. We are. How you doing, sir? It's old, Frank. Yeah. Since you're late, you know, like the church, you got to put you out in the front door. I need some praise and worshipers up here. You might be uncomfortable with your back. <laughs> but um, there's no doubt about it. We are the true game in town. We believe it. The folks believed in it. That's why they was asking for it. And you'll hear we delivered. 560, the team is the only station in South Carolina carrying these primetime shows local. I'm sorry. I had mouse issues. We had mouse issues. That didn't sound good. <laughs> we had mouse issues. Oh, I'm now um, mouse, but, uh, sorry, Corey. My mouse issues in Paisley, where I'm from, oh, like they would run across the floor at night. <laughs> it would be around 3 a.m. And also roach issues, but I can, I can we'll go ahead. But we are. The, uh, the game in town. 18 to 54, that's our target uh, men, and but we also have about 30% of our listeners that are women. Eileen told me, you think it's more than that? Absolutely. She said women love sports, she's tuned in. So we get a lot of 
Uh, you heard the lady call in. I'm looking for, for Beck, but she found Sports Talk. But I can tell you, we have a consistent number of listeners and callers. My wife, all her friends, <coughs> they tune in. My fact, one of my wife's best friends is a Clemson girl, and she absolutely hates me. She hates me. She said, I listen to Corey. He drives me nuts about Dabo Sweeney and, and CJ Spiller. And, but you know what? She still listens because she emails me telling me something I said. That's what it's all about, right? But so we got a large number of uh, women listeners as well. Again, I talk about vision, and I'll leave you with this before I give it to Bobby. The vision started when we were just a little peon here in town. And Bobby Martin told me years ago, preacher, he called me preacher, we're going to do something big, man. Hang in there with us. I had an opportunity then to do some stuff in Charlotte. But I saw the vision of what Bobby Martin was telling me a few years ago. Because, one, he was passionate. And as a former athlete, I always believe one thing. you got to see things before it happens. In ministry, when I preach, I say the same thing to people. you got to see your healing before you heal. you got to have that kind of crazy faith that something big is going to happen. And that's what we did. We had faith that one day... That's some great things going to happen with little old 1,400, now 5, 6 of the team, and we're going to do some great things. So I'm asking you today as he presents, visualize where we're trying to go. You're going to have a great opportunity to do something big with us. So come along the ride. It's fun. You can tell we have a lot of fun over here, but we're competitive, and we're about winning. I've been a part of nothing that I didn't want to win. I hate losing, and we don't like losing Amen. over here. Okay? So you want to be on the winning team, 560. Here's the winning team, baby.